Hi there, Carmel Presbyterian Church family. Peter Barnes here. Many thanks to John Shearer who filled in for me this past Sunday. I was away in Colorado speaking at a retreat for an eco sister church from Amarillo, Texas, and we had a great time, but I really did miss you. And it's gonna be good to be back this Sunday. This Sunday, I'm going to talk about the next one another passage in our series of Becoming the Church that Jesus Longs For. And we're gonna be looking at Jesus' invitation to forgive one another. You know, in the fifth petition of the Lord's Prayer, it says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. There was a Sunday school teacher one Sunday who was teaching his class and he asked his kids, well, what's a debtor? There was silence in the class and then one little boy piped up and he said, well, it's somebody who's really, really dead. There's dead and then there's debtor. <laughs> uh, some time ago, I saw a family circus cartoon which had one of the boys praying just before going to bed along with his mother there. And he was in prayer and he said, and Lord, give us our trespasses as we really give it to those who trespass against us. <laughs> Forgiveness isn't always easy, is it? There are times when forgiving someone who has hurt us requires a great deal of us. But isn't that the test of our faith? Philip Yancey has said that forgiveness is actually an unnatural act in that it, it requires us to go against our natural instincts for justice, if not revenge. But forgiveness is the only way that we can break the cycle of blame and pain and for relationships to begin again. I look forward to exploring all of this with you on Sunday. And in the meantime, I pray that the Lord will bless you richly. And I look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. You take care.